is Raven from Avenger Bricks and I've got my 3D printer. It is an Ender 3 Pro and I'm gonna use this to replace my Anet that's now raised, resting for now. This is the box. I got this from this 3D Zygo guy at Shopee or Nations Market. Yeah, I'm gonna open this and then I'm gonna unbox it. After I unbox it, I'm gonna build it and I'm gonna put it there and test it on if it can work. I'm gonna use my STL files and oh, others to test it first. For now, I'm gonna unbox it. It's also like my Anet, it's already built in, well, half built. So this is the Ender's build, well, base, I mean. It's not base, it's the bed. Yeah, right, the bed. It's actually uh, some sort of flexible magnetic metal kind of thing. So this is the metal and it just sticks like that. Oh, do I need to adjust it so that it's good? Okay. Yeah, it's also flexible, so when after I build, I could just do this, and then it's gonna be off of it in well, no time. So, yep, I'm gonna take this out real quick. Oh, oh, it's actually pretty small. I thought it's gonna be bigger. Okay. Oh, the cables are all attached, too. I got some of these. I think these are to make the braces go up. So, yeah, for now, I'm gonna take this out, too. Okay, so this is the nozzle. This is where the the filament came out. I'm gonna put this aside first. Okay. Yeah. And oop, what's this? Oh, something's broken. What? The this this is broken. I don't know what this part is. I am gonna find out. So, despite of that little breakdown, this is the convenience of the unboxing. This is the LCD screen. Okay. This back end so it doesn't get damaged. Okay, so that's the LCD screen. We'll put it on top of the bed. Now we're gonna take out the first layer. Put it aside. Okay, it's gonna fall. And now we're going into the Z or axis of it. We have oh, just over something. We have the braces to make it stand, and we have some kind of rod that is supposed to well, you know, you do the Z axis and spin and then spin up, spin down. Like that to move the motor. Now my hands already. But this is and this is for the I think it's for the what is the extruder again? This is another part of the extruder. The power supply cable, the filament holder. This is the Z motor, Z axis motor. And then we have the power supply with the power supply cable there. Switch. And that's and this is well the scrape well to remove the filament from the build. We do already have another one, so I'm just I'm not gonna use this. These are the well screws and other parts such as the tools is also in there. Most of the screws. And lastly, the filament, and I think these are nozzles for, you know, if something happened, you can replace the nozzle. Also, something there, I, I don't know what that is. No, oh, because this is, this one's not a spare part, and the nozzles are all different. That's why I say different nozzles. These are something different. Let me just open it so I can show you.
first we have different type of nozzles here oh wait no this this is not regular sized nozzle spares i think but i don't think so too. and we have this i'm not oh wait this is the switch so again this the well it's not a switch it's more like a stopper this is stopper. And then we have the belt PLA, the flash drive. I'm gonna use my old trust flash drive because I already have all of the thing I need infos. And then we have this. I'm not quite sure what this is, but I'll figure it out later in the manual. Yes, there we go. And I'm gonna check what else is in the box. Oh. It's empty in the box, so there's nothing else in the box. Alright, I'm gonna show you all of the parts that I've unboxed. The manual, those are the nozzle, the bed, the monitor, the power supply, the filament holder, power supply cable, and the tools, and an extra PLA filament. This is the manual. And also, since I have a broken piece here that is part of a extruder I'm uh, I've already called the one that sell this the seller and this is the instruction let me just open it real quick okay, so now I'm gonna show you the instructions this is the instruction So well now I am gonna build this in my 2D printing table or probably here too in the floor and then after it's done I'm gonna give you the look of the 3D printer and then we can try and test it on the on my DVD I mean disc flash disc but for now I'm gonna ask the seller to send me the little part for my extruder and after that I can start building this or I built this now and then I attach the extrusion later. So, well, yep, that is for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Enjoy the next video, guys. Thank you for watching.